Hey what's up guys welcome to the breakdown today we're going to show you guys how to color correct footage in Final Cut Pro 10 so to do this go ahead and open up your project or document I'm just going to mute this audio real quick so it's not playing throughout the video and then once you have your clip go ahead and select it when it's in your timeline and then what you can do is go ahead and I'm just going to drag it to a point where I can see most of what I want to correct um, this is going to correct the entire clip the only way to avoid that is to cut the clip here, cut the clip here, and then you could color correct just that section. However, this is going to do the entire clip. I just want to get a good feel of what we're going to be looking at here. So go ahead and select the clip and then go to your inspector. Now if you don't see the inspector, click this button right here and it should show your inspector. If it doesn't, go to window and then click on show inspector, which would be command 4. Then what you can do is come over here to your video effects and hit color correction and just drag this onto your clip. Now as you can see this added color correction too for me because I already had one correction up there. Uh, that doesn't make a difference. We'll just turn this off and go into color correction one by clicking on color board. And then we'll start off in color where we can go ahead and adjust the color and tones of the video. The first thing I typically do as you can see this image is really yellow, really warm, uh, but it was actually on a cold day when we went off-roading. So what I'm going to do to represent that is take this slider and bring it over here and take down the yellows. I don't want to make it too, um, I don't want to take too many yellows out because as you can see when we do that, it just looks horrible. But I also don't want to take it up too much because it looks like someone went over the video with a highlighter. Uh, so we'll just take it and bump it down to about negative 2 to negative 3%. Uh, you can also adjust the shadows, so the shadows in between these rocks you can make uh, a different color. Additionally, you can work with the midtones, and you can also adjust the color of the highlights. Now because we worked with global, I'm going to leave these alone, however if global doesn't do enough for you, you can come into shadows and you could change the saturation, or not the saturation, the color of the shadows, you can make them a little more blue, you can make them a little more green or less green, take out the green, uh, whatever you wanted to do, but we're just going to reset that to 0% for now because we're not really looking to mess with that. Then we can come over here to saturation and we can start working with this. I do want to mention that this is going to be different for every video that you work with. If you're working with something like this, it's going to look a lot different than if you were working with footage inside. It all just depends on what type of footage you have in front of you. That's the hard part about color correction. There's no one particular way to do it. There are many thousands and thousands and millions of possibilities when you're color correcting video or photos. Now we'll just look at the saturation a little bit. I'm pretty fond of how the saturation is in this image. Uh, if we take it up, as we can see, it brings a lot of that yellow back into it, which just essentially highlights the yellow of the dirt that day. Uh, or we can desaturate it to make it look a little more rustic and desaturated. I think for this though, I'm just going to make it about negative three, and then we can also look at the shadows, uh, mid-tones, and highlights in this section as well. Moving on, we have the exposure where we can adjust obviously the global, which is this one, the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. So in most situations, what I'll do is I'll typically leave exposure uh, for global alone, but I will come into the shadows and bring out the shadows a little bit in the video. And I'll also come down to the highlights and take the highlights down just a little bit to where it shows more of the shadows and gets rid of some of the highlights that are overblown in the video. And there you have it, you have a simple color correction in Final Cut Pro 10. Like I said, there are thousands and thousands of possibilities of editing with color correction. You can make it look however you want. However, this is how our final product ended up, so let's go ahead, let this render out, and we'll play the clip. Absolutely exhilarating, I know. Watching a Range Rover drive up a hill of rocks. That's pretty much all that was. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment below for future Final Cut tutorial recommendations. Nevertheless, we will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching.